Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, September 13th, 2020. And now that the days are getting cooler, I don't know, it just seems like uh, time is sweeping along. I continue to travel every week to West Virginia and then I'm home on the weekends. I'm going there for work and the travel is wearing a little thin. I will be happy um, to be home more after the uh, end of this year. So, um, but I do have a beautiful drive every week and I'm grateful for that. The hills of West Virginia are breathtaking and I'm grateful for that. So I've got a few things this week. Um, I was, it was a busy week, but I was able to melt in the hotel room and then here at home on the weekend. So let's get started. First of all, from Rainbow Melts, I continue to work through the Fizzy Pop and Lemonade Sampler. So first up is Fruit Punch Candy and Fizzy Pop. This is a great sampler. Everything smells strong and beautiful. This is like a Hawaiian punch and fizzy pop. Good summer scent with a high throw. Beautiful. Next up was strawberry kiwi and fizzy pop from the same sampler. And I really enjoyed this one. It's like a fresh picked strawberry and then the tartness of the kiwi together with the bubbles from the fizzy pop. I really love this. That's a, that's a great one. I don't always love strawberry kiwi melts, but with that fizzy note, it's just great. Uh, from Destination Wax, I finished uh, London Rain, which was a scent shot cup. Uh, this is uh, the dupe of Jo Malone Rain and Angelica, which I have not smelled, but it must be a beautiful scent. This is Rain, Citrus, Florals, and Wood. And um, just a very calming scent, um, high throw, and I enjoyed that. I would like to buy more of that. From Dessa's, I had gotten a sampler of mixed scents from her. And now first up, we hit Orange Mocha Latte. Very strong, beautiful coffee scent with a bit of chocolate. And um, this is like you're eating one of those chocolate oranges that, you know, you break it apart and there's all the chocolate sections while you're enjoying your latte. Beautiful. This was really strong. I tried a tiny piece in a melter just to see if I liked the scent and it filled the whole house. Absolutely beautiful. Next was Citrus Spritzer from Dessa's. This is really strong orange, and it smelled a bit like Tang, so I loved it because when I was growing up, Tang is that powdered orange drink, and we were told the astronauts took that with them to the moon when I was a little girl, which is many moons ago, and we loved um, knowing that the astronauts drank that, so we all bought that in abundance when I was little. High throw, strong, beautiful scent. I enjoyed that a lot. From Rose Girls, we... Uh, right now in the melters in the house, I have Peached Whale. First of all, I love that name. So this is peach, orange, vanilla, and coconut. This is like a, a peaches and cream kind of scent, medium throw. Peach scents for me generally are lighter. And this is so beautiful, I would like to buy a bag of this. It's really a lovely peach scent. And then I finished the beautiful Pond Scum from the Let's Go Camping Sampler. And I love this. It's really watery and fresh and green. It smells like you are by a pond with like a green algae on top of any kind of that, you know, a little bit rotting in a good way, earthy kind of scent. I love this high throw. So I will buy more of that if, um, if Jenny offers it. I really like that very much. Next up from the Bunny Sisters. And you know, I love my Bunny Sisters. First up, this was a beautiful scent, Cotton Candy Frosted Lemon Cookies. There are a lot of lemon cookie scents out there, but this I enjoyed more than any I have smelled before. It's like a crispy, not buttery cookie with a soft icing that has lemon zest in it. So fragrant and delicious, and I just wanted to eat the whole, the whole thing. It was a beautiful square with an embed of Hello Kitty. Oh, so, so cute. Um, high throw, a real fresh lemon and a crispy cookie. Wow, I will need more of that. Next up from the Bunny Sisters was Summertime Cocktail, and this was Cherry Slushy, Lemonade, and Pink Champagne. And I love this really fun summer scent. The cherry and the lemonade together, uh, beautiful. Next up, another fizzy scent. You know I'm the fizzy queen. I love my fizzy scents. This was Donna Martin, which is fresh picked strawberries, cotton candy frosting, and fizzy pop. And my husband commented how much he liked that. So the fresh strawberries and sweetened a bit with the cotton candy and then the bubbly fizzy pop. That was a fun scent. And finally, I love this one, Malibu Ken. So I thought Malibu Ken was going to be beachy and kind of surfy, you know, with the buff Ken out there with his surfboard but no you know Ken hung up that surfboard and he went out in the woods 
So you have beechwood, suede and tobacco, and barber shop. So this is like, to me, a rugged man near the beach. Get that beechwood, which is neroli and jasmine and musk. And um, I forget what else is in that. But the neroli and the jasmine were both noteworthy. And then suede, so a light leather, but not overwhelming leather. And the tobacco is like a pipe tobacco. And Ken has just shaved, so he's got that kind of Barbasol, not perfumey, but nice soapy um, shaving cream scent. I love this. So Malibu Ken and I are pals, and I will be needing more of this scent. Gorgeous. Next up from Empire Alchemy, and I just got a big haul from Empire Alchemy. Really loving this vendor. You've heard me talk about this one before if you've been on this channel. The beautiful Malachite. This is winter linen, crisp pear, lime, and hyacinth. So mainly I got the pear and the hyacinth. Such a beautiful scent. This is an experimental, so I hope she will bring it back as a house blend. I am sorry to see that one come to an end. Really loved it. And finally, um, from Wicked Wax Studios, which is on Etsy, two cents. I continue to be impressed with this vendor. Really strong, beautiful scents and slightly different blends. So here we had So Fresh, So Clean, which is Salty Sea Air, Snuggle, Laundry, and Citrus. The beautiful scent. I mainly got the Snuggle and then the, a bit of the Salty Sea Air medium throw. So different, I think, to put the Laundry and Salty Sea Air together, and I enjoyed that very much. And my favorite of these two was the Dock of the Bay, which is sea minerals and driftwood. You know I love my driftwood. So this was fresh, oceanic, um, not perfumey and not sweet. So you had that driftwood scent, uh, a little bit greenish, and then the sea minerals. So it's not the salty sea air in your face, but more like a sea breeze and beautifully blended. I love that. I would buy it again. So that's it. Kind of a light week. Um, but I enjoyed all of these very much, and I will be taking more summer scents with me this week on the road. Um, we've got another week till the calendar says we're into fall, although I do see some leaves shedding, some some uh, trees shedding their leaves already. So soon I'll I'll break into some pumpkin and apple scents and some autumn leafy scents. So thank you so much for watching. You have a safe week. Stay well. Hug your families. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, See you in my next one. Bye for now.